you like that? <laughs> All right, so this is a recipe I've actually done numerous times. I've spoken about it on the daily vlog. It's super delicious and super healthy. So today I'm sharing with you baked spaghetti squash with garlic and butter. So come on, let's get started. The ingredients are one small spaghetti squash, butter, garlic, parsley, Parmesan cheese, and salt is optional. While the oven is heating up, you're gonna take your spaghetti squash, make sure there's no stickers. If there is, I mean, there's no big issue with it. Not like you're gonna eat the stickers. So now you're gonna take a knife and just pierce ooh, some holes in it. You can pierce some holes or you can not pierce some holes, which I've actually done before. And now you're gonna take the whole thing and put it inside the oven. Place it into the oven for one hour. You'll know the spaghetti squash is done if you can put a knife right through it and it comes out easily. Now let it cool down for 10 minutes. You're gonna cut the squash in half. Even after 10 minutes, it's really, really hot. Whoa. You're gonna rake out the seeds and throw them out. This part is really difficult because sometimes when you try to pull out the seeds, a lot of the spaghetti comes out, but Try not to throw out too much of the spaghetti. And now you're gonna start scraping and getting the noodles out. Woo! I never, before I made this recipe, I never would have thought spaghetti squash really had spaghetti. <laughs> and I'm gonna put it in a separate bowl. This is what it's supposed to look like once you're done scraping. That little spaghetti squash has that much spaghetti inside of it. I love, love, love garlic, so I'm just gonna add a whole bunch. So now you're gonna heat up a pan and add butter. There's absolutely no measurements, so I guess you're just gonna have to eyeball it. Is that what it's called? <laughs> You're also gonna add in the garlic. Make it rain with garlic. You're also gonna start adding the spaghetti squash. Butter. And more parsley. Also at this time, try to do a little taste test to see if you need any salt, more butter, or garlic. Definitely need some salt. Also add in the Parmesan cheese. Make sure to cook the spaghetti until it's a little browns I don't like all the mushiness so when it gets about this color right there is when I'm satisfied just gonna keep adding along the way the Parmesan cheese salt time to serve your baked spaghetti of course add some parsley to give it color And we are done. Well, I'm done, and she gets to reap the benefits of eating it all. It's hot, caliente. But we need to give them a taste test. <laughs> now, just an FYI, 
I'm gonna have a blog post with the directions on it just in case you don't want to keep watching the video over and over and over again to grasp all the ingredients so I will leave the link down below and here or here here somewhere here as well taste test Que rico! So yummy! Oh, it's so good. <laughs> you guys, it's delicious. I've made this before, like I told you. I absolutely love it. Um, I mean, I put enough butter, enough salt, enough Parmesan. I load it up on garlic and actually Parmesan, but I absolutely love it. Let me know if you guys are going to try it or if you have tried it or what you think about it. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. So I hope you enjoyed this recipe and the meal as much as she is. <laughs> if you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and share. Adios amigos. Say bye. <laughs>